day 904. I'm at Whole Foods getting ready to leave. I had to bring something to drop off for an Amazon return. And uh, just left church. Got a crazy word from God today. So powerful and overwhelming and good and scary. And um, yeah, I was just like, my plan was to come and um, drop off this return. And then I was like, I'm stressed. I want popcorn and pizza. So I was gonna get two slices of pizza and some popcorn. It's like my go-to stressed out meal that I actually haven't had in like a long time. Um, and yeah, that was the plan. And I only have, after getting $20 in gas today, I only have like, I think, what is it? $18, something like that. And I was like, I don't care. I need comfort. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, and, um, and I walked in to Whole Foods and I was just like, Chris, you can say no to this. And the wind just did this. I was like, you could say no to this. Just say no. And I just walked out. I was like, wow, like you've got healthy food at home. And um, yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Like what God is giving you is a lot. And uh, you're in a very intense place right now. And you don't have to, uh, you don't have to do that. And I just walked out and I was like, wow, that was actually not very difficult. I don't know if it's because I've been going to the gym a bunch or just really getting more serious about my life and my calling or the message today, but it was just like, no. I'm gonna go home and eat the healthy food that I meal prepped yesterday and I'm gonna relax. Yeah. Um, God made it really, really undeniably clear that he wants me to give my time and energy to this director position at church. Um, I was like worshiping and praying and he showed me, Chris, I gave you a massive promotion. You know, our pastor said that between all three campuses last week, they had 1,200 people come to church, which is amazing. Um, and God showed me today, like, Chris, I promoted you. You just don't see it as a promotion because you're so focused on the worldly things like making money and growing your business that you don't see the heavenly promotion that I've given you, the spiritual promotion that I've given you. Because I've taken you from being responsible for five people in Warriors of God to 1,200 people across three churches. And you have given zero time to that this week. And I was like, wow. And I said, God, but I need to make money. And then he said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be given unto you. Through that Bible verse at me. And I was like, ah, just crying, crying, crying. Like, oh, I'm scared, God. And then our pastor gets on stage and half the sermon he's talking about we're gonna build an army and and god's just giving me all this like chris they're waiting for you and then the pastor's wife talks to me and how's it coming along and multiple people are coming to me like okay these new people they they want to get some bibles what should we do and it's like everyone is just like turning to me and looking to me for answers and i have just taken this and been like ah, eh, I'll, I'll do it when i have time and then at the end of service today our pastor talked about time and um he said for some of us our god is time and i was like oh and he said if that's you i need you to come to the front and bring it to the altar and that's what i did because it's like i haven't given any time to the promotion that god has given me and i think about that and i'm like wow what an incredible promotion they're gonna put me in charge of all the new people all the new believers 
all the new volunteers and baptisms. Like that's such an important role. It's so significant. It's so important. And I just wrote it off like, eh, because I just need to make money. Like I, I, the truth is I, I really desperately need to make money. I have $17. That's it. I have a quarter tank of gas, $17 and enough food for three days with no sight of money in the future. And I don't know what to do. Like I've done multiple uh, purpose assessments with people, three people. They want to do it. They don't have the money. So I'm like, okay, God. All right, God. <laughs> okay, God. Okay, God. Okay, God. I paid my bills. Like one of my clients paid early, which is amazing. And I took that money and I combined it with the other money I had. I paid my cell phone bill, my credit card, uh, and a few other things. And after all that and buying groceries, I have $17. And so, but God just made it really clear. Like, Chris, I want you to be a part of this. And, you know, I'm talking to my mom about it. And she's like, of course, like, that's where you're going to get all your clients from. <laughs> like, you're going to get so many clients from that. And it's like, when I'm in church, I just feel so good. It's just like, I could be in this atmosphere all the time, like people just pursuing God, people pursuing God and being in person. And there's so much opportunity right there in front of me. And it's just like, you know, there are people that, that go to church or who've been believers their whole lives who don't give, get an opportunity like that, to have that kind of position, you know, of, of influence at a church and that position of like contribution and service and, and really like, you know, helping people and it's like God showed me what made me start crying is he said he showed me like I'm trusting you with my people these aren't just people that you know are your Facebook friends or whatever like these are my people this is my church and I'm trusting you to steward it and grow it and take care of my sheep and lead them back to me and take them from crawling to running and it's just like and I just completely wrote it off I spent an hour and a half or two hours last week putting together a presentation, sent it, and didn't do a thing after that. Didn't even, wasn't even a thought. And it's just like, because it didn't look like the promotion that I thought. I thought it was going to be like 10 new coaching clients, even though I don't want 10 new coaching clients. I don't want to sit at my freaking computer doing one-on-one -on -one coaching all day, every day. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I want to be in front of groups and speak life into them and talk about God and and so it's like God's putting it right in front of me but I was too blind to see it because it didn't come in the way that I expected and it's just right there in front of me and they're all waiting for me and our pastor's talking about we have this program and this system and all this and he's talking about what I'm supposed to be doing and I haven't done it and I'm just like oh So, so all of that was overwhelming. So I was like, F it. I want pizza and popcorn. I don't care if it's my last $10. I just need to feel comfortable. And then I just walked in. I was like, no, 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 no. You, because I'm really changing. I'm really genuinely changing. Like I can feel it. I can feel myself stepping into my greatness. I can feel myself changing and shifting and it feels really good. And it's just like, I don't have to go back to that. And I made all this delicious food that's 10 times better than the pizza and the popcorn. The pizza and the popcorn is just comfortable. But, like, I need to seek God for my comfort, not food. Yeah. <sighs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> 